consequences for a short sell, deed and loan foreclosure. Let's just talk about simple credit rating. When it comes to credit, you know, a short sell is better than deed and loan foreclosure. Right now, the current rules when it comes to, you know, being able to buy and purchase again according to FHA guidelines. If I have a short sell on my credit, I have to wait three years. Deed and lieu and foreclosure is five years. Those are probably the biggest consequences right now when it comes to how does it affect me for my future. The other effects or consequences is that depending upon what state you live in, there's certain guidelines and requirements when it comes to the difference between the three. The key element, no matter what you do, especially in a short sell or a deed and lieu scenario, both those scenarios are done through the bank. Both of them are done with written agreements. And you wanna make sure that in the written agreements, you are being held harmless of that debt. That they're basically waiving the right to seek a deficiency judgment against you. That's just the most important when it comes to consequences. Tax consequences, we are not tax accountants. But what I can tell you this, I do know the laws have been passed by President Bush in 2005 that basically state that if the home is your primary residence, there, there will not be any tax consequences to you, even if your bank files a 1099 against you for that debt. They're trying to cover their end. They're trying to cover their loss and try to get some you know, tax benefits for that loss. But you just need to file what they call a 1099C form, which counters what they sent you. Once again, it's important to talk to your accountant. Um, I mean, we guide you and tell you where to find the forms, but it, it's, it is a simple process. Uh, you should be concerned with that. Foreclosure, like I said, every state has different guidelines in the, there, there's basically a redemption period as in how much time a bank has to come after you for the debt after foreclosure. And so it's really important to understand what your state laws are when it comes to foreclosures. Because in some cases, you know, there's some states that the day after it forecloses, they can't do anything to you. And in some cases, it's it's in your best interest to just let the home go to foreclosure. I, I, I've had to advise clients on you know numerous occasions because banks were not willing to release them of the debt. They're better off to let the home foreclose. It's it's not a pretty picture. It's, you know, um, but you really need to protect your family. That's that's really the, the first and foremost. So understand your tax laws, not tax laws, understand your foreclosure laws when it comes to what happens if the house goes to foreclosure. How, how much time do they have left? As an example, the state of Idaho, they only have 90 days after foreclosure to try to come after you. They have to file actually a, a lawsuit against you. It has to be basically awarded to them within that 90 days. I, I know plenty of tactics to stall that 90 days out. Give us a call, we can help you out.